There are quite a few movement ideas in overdrive that pass through it. I think because the music is so repetitive, it's like this big web of sound, and I had to make a structure. I had to make something formal, something perhaps more clear than some of the dances that I make, which are very fluid when they're phrased to melodic music. There are melodies in overdrive, but they're like little jingles, little tunes. Da 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 de, do do. Simple as that. What are the movement ideas? Swiping, very, very aggressively energetic movement. There are several duets and solos that have a wonderful swiping energy. Um, I often talk to the dancers about Luke Skywalker and his sword stick with the, with the light inside. Um, movement can, can look like that to me if it makes that kind of energy in space. So that's something that's very important in overdrive. Um, extremes, moments where one person is right up and the other person is right down, so the energy splits apart that way. That's something else that runs through overdrive. Um, because the rhythms often end with a little diddle, diddle, diddle on the end, there's often an accent done with the arms or the elbows. It's done in all sorts of different ways all the way through the piece. The simplest form is da-da-da, 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 da-da, da-da, da do 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 or it's up, up, or it's sideways, tilting. It happens in all sorts of different ways and it changes all the time because it's not the position, it's the movement. And it's going from side to side and there's a little rhythmic accent. Those are the individual movement ideas. Very often I'm using quite straight lines and one line passing through another and opening out into the space. It's a very formal piece overdrive. But having said that, when it's danced, it needs to be ecstatic and wild. <laughs>